That's the way to end a homestand as we welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live, presented by our friends at Cure Auto Insurance. Ricky Batalico and Michael Barkan in a moment. John Cruck, Tom McCarthy back in the ballpark. 83 games in, 44 and 39. Ricky Bowen, how about the way Sir Anthony Dominguez finished that game off and Bailey been, Falter started it? Been saying it all season long. I really believe that Sir Anthony should be the closer on this ball club. He's got the mentality for it, and he certainly has the stuff for it. And the, the one thing that you look for in a closer is bounce back ability. He's one of those guys that if he has a bad game, gives up a run, comes back the next night ready to go. Check out the wild card standings where the Phillies reside one half game game in front of St. Louis where they travel for tomorrow's game. St. Louis playing a little bit later. So the Phillies got a chance, Bo Bo, to be a full game up in the wild card standings on the Cardinals. Yeah, this is good news, but the one thing that everybody has to realize is that this, this series coming up, and I don't say this very often, especially in July, but it's an important series for the Phillies because you want the uh, you want to take the, I guess, the series. From, from the uh, Cardinals. They split, Phillies win the series for the year. And that's important. Why? Yeah, because if they tie at the end of 162 games, Phillies go to the playoffs and the Cardinals do not. All right. I, I want your take about this. Not just yet, but think about it. What our expectation should be going forward from this Phillies team that have played two. Hang on. Oh, I got to get to Rob to Thompson. That. No, I want you to think about it for a little bit. We'll get your thoughts on it. Here's the Phillies interim skipper, Rob Thompson, post game. How much of a difference does it make to the bullpen? You had Alvarado coming out throwing strikes. Mm. Yeah, he's done a nice job for a while now. Uh, he's got some type of, was it 14 and 19 last year's strike count? 14 and 21? Yeah, so when he's throwing strikes, he's tough to hit. 95 mile an hour cutter is tough. Um, then he's got the four seam. 100 miles an hour. So <laughs> he got good stuff. And, and when he's throwing the ball over the plate, he's tough to hit. That spot that you put him in, goes through two, three, four. Uh, is that a sign of the, the confidence that you have? In yeah, him? absolutely. You know, when you're looking at Soto and Bell and Cruz, that's probably their best part of their lineup. And and so I we thought before the game that that would be a spot where we'd use him. Been around since 18, so you've seen this you know, some tough times so mm -hmm. many years with this bullpen. What's it been like over the last month? It seems like the pieces all fit and everything's kind of clicking. Yeah, and everybody's kind of calmed down a little bit, and they know where they're where they're going to pitch and and probably what part of the game they're going to pitch in. And I think that that helps them out, and um, and they've responded and they've pitched well. Does it help at all that? You guys have maybe some assets that aren't here in terms of, you know, a guy like Brogdon. You're doing this and you haven't had him for the last 12 days or whatever it is. Does that kind of help bring some of that calm to it that you know as manager you've got some options? Even? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, everybody's pitching well. So, um, you know, Brogdon, you know, isn't here and, and other guys step up in, in that role. And, and hopefully we get him back soon. He's pitching tonight, I believe. So. Hopefully we get him back soon, and, and he's pitching the way he did before, you know, we lost him. So, um, but everybody's stepping up and they're doing a great job. What did you think of uh, Bailey Falters before? He threw like 49 pitches his first two innings. And yeah. Kind of calmed it down his last two innings. Yeah, he did, and um, he really battled through the first couple innings, and I was proud of him for that. And then, you know, the last inning, he probably had 10 pitches left when I, we took him out. Um, and I, I, I'm always a firm believer that if you have a chance, relievers should start innings because I think they just they pitch better when there's not any traffic out there. So he had about 10 pitches left, and I explained this to Bailey, and, um, and he, I was proud of him for battling through the first couple innings. The last inning was his best inning, and I just felt it was good for him to to leave the building feeling good about himself. You guys brought Darren for a little shot in the yep. middle of the lineup. Has he been as advertised in your opinion? Absolutely. He's really swung about well and hit some big home runs. That, that home run today was really big. Give us a little separation. The double he hit was really big to get us on the board. JT had a great set, you know, sack fly to score a run. So, um, yeah, Derek's been kind of a spark for us.